nearly. Not quite, though. <laughs> oh. Okay. Okay. Bye bye. Yeah. Good night, Sharks. They surely won't be ready for a second man, though. At least they're not expecting Tai Wu here, and he is able to keep it in the advantage of Vitality. Popsky gets the trade though. Three versus three. This is great for Nip, right? They've lost these. uh, The sure they lose a scout and a Deagle player, but they're going to take this trade all day long. Apex. Well, he does get one. Rez is quick on the trade, and so now we're still in this two-on-two, still even odds. Sneaking 15 seconds. They've got to get this kill at the back of the B-site. RPK, he can just hide. He can stall. They can try and plant away from him, but they need to try and cover that frag. There it is. Popsky gets it. Plant can come through just about, but Mizuta, a long rotation, full utility, no kit, and a one-on-two. Oh, goodbye. Adios. Buenos noches. He's got his teammates supporting, watching for the ramp side peak. Plopsky, he's been so good at finding this B damage every single round, getting a kill. It's going to be a trade attempt, a push potentially by Apex. As he peeks in towards B. That's a good angle, but Plopsky's so quick. Damn, yeah, Masuda, while he knows there's players here, is he ready oh, no. for quite as many? Well, he certainly feels like it. Masuda well, has shut down absolutely everyone for an IP over here at the A side of the map. Lecro now alone. Eyes on the prize. 1v3 doesn't know that there's a player. Sandbag Ooh. somehow escapes the wrap. Uh -oh. but gets himself another kill. They get the information that there's nobody here for right. an IP. And so now the jig is somewhat up. RPK's calling. Yeah, no, you guys are right. There's no one at A because they're here. They're inside of B and RPK almost in with three before he gets shut down. Not quite able to get that third kill. Plopsky gets the trade. The Sharks now arriving on Ooh. this wrap round. That's going to be Nork removed. And a two on two. Can they deal with Zaiwu who arrives now? Towards the generators. Oh, if Pops can get into safety, that would be so important. His teammates tag. Uh, will NIP be ready for it? That smoke's about to fade, and the flash goes through. Great flash. Shocks follows up on it. Rez gonna go down. And so much of this map is just sneaking. Oh. Maid's going in towards the B bomb site, and RPK. He'll be blinded, dealt with, mopped up. Apex is still alive and still looking to be a danger, but not quite able to be dangerous enough to deal with Blobsky. Masuta, oh, he was trying to go for the long sneak, trying to play well, the trigger discipline. Investment back in for Vitality. Apex, he's kind of tired of, uh, of sitting in the back line. Vitality double back out of the site, but they do have heavy mid control, which enables quick rotations. Rotations which could save this in the retake. Mizuta has a kit, and RPK spotted players walking up towards B. Oh, RPK's been very wow. proficient at holding this down. And he's continuing that trend now, but it is still this 2v2 bomb on the back of Lecro. He'll hop in through the window, but whether or not they want to commit, we'll have to wait and see. Shox has come rotating in with uh -oh. this orb. RPK tries to extend that fight. Both players were under window. There was always a chance they could have tried to throw someone up there. And they've instead just grouped up inside of the bomb site. Shox sees the shadow, Ooh. misses the flick, and Lecro's brought him down so low. Shox mm. from the gens does deal with the Hello. first man. There's a kit here as well, an elevator. Oh, there it is. It's been picked up. I thought we was going to run back towards mid and try and jump through window, but I guess the choke point isn't too favorable, and Nork heard it. Big knock. This has left Shocks with very little time, though. Having to go back and grab that kit has now left him in the 1v1. Nork is, like, kind of wondering. He's got it down this close. Where on earth is he? Now he hears that bomb get tapped, Ooh. and Shocks is quick on the deagle. He's already off of it. Is there enough time, though? Yeah. I certainly think there is. Vitality, a fourth round on the board. Shocks there. And now an IP. Looking like they want to try go in. Lecro gives us the entries. Ooh. Nork's dealt with Zaiwu. Masuta... Will deal with one on his rotation back in from mid. Still alive, still a problem. Wow. And you can't forget about Masuta as now he's brought it back into a 2v2. But in the blink of an eye, it now falls to RPK. All alone has to finish what the new boy on the block started. The tank gearing up, getting started. 
Looking for Lecro, looking for the one player he knows should be stuck in the bomb site. The Lecro is not missing with the Krieg. He's a bit of a menace with this weapon. And so I think that's where his responsibility comes from, is having that freedom, having the ability to make his own decisions as to the impact he's going to find in these rounds. Now, early on, Kill comes in from RPK. This last run of the half, Twist is going to play a little bit more aggressively towards this A site. And Lecro's going to be there to help him out. Shocks holding an angle here for Lecro. They're going to walk right into each other in a matter of moments. Meanwhile, from the other side of the map, Rez is going to be trying to grab the bomb. Yeah, this is what I mean about, you know, commenting on Shocks as a swing player. He's left mid, and he's actually traded that with Masuta, who's now gone back there. Or he's actually crossed into the uh, the short side here, and Lecro is well aware this is a possibility. This is the spot that isn't wallbangable. Oh. It's the only little safe haven that you've got. And so he deals with shocks. They're still into a two-on-two. -two. RPK continuing this phenomenal game, but he is brought to his knees by Twist. Masuta mm. put down as well. And NIP, they'll reach double digits. With a chance to run away with, uh, well, at least the start of his half. But past that, who knows? Mid-push for NIP. Apex is watching for it. He's got to deal with a lot of players, and he'll go back in for more. Lecro able to take him down. NIP, five on four, a chance. Yeah, A play from Vitality. NIP. They've given this up. They're playing retake over towards the A-bomb site. That is a ballsy maneuver, but no yeah. smokes for Vitality to shut this site down. Instead, they've got to win these fights. And so they're going to try and take elevator. They try and pressure twist when they know that Rez is on this flank. They deal with the one man while they've got him. And Rez now, this is like roll reversal. He's back on the T side. I'm going to get into the A-bomb site. And, oh, there's so many. Yeah, if he managed that, that would have been just nuts. He's so ready. Agreed. Twist, quick on the draw. Zaiwu never really even had a chance right there, now did he? Oh, something else that's really brutal is... Oh, my goodness. Right it there. gets even worse See over up. here at B. Apex is now going to give it a go. And he's gone the way of everyone else. What this is going to do is this just means vitality. They might have to slow it down before they try and hit this B site. Try and bait those nades out. And... Yeah, they just fell like... Bowling pins right there, trying to make their way up that B ramp. Plopsky there to find another one. He got himself a pretty nice 3K this round. Oh, God. It, or, it, you know, it's so hard. Mizuta skipped so many of those levels, or at least had fast-tracked them towards a Timothy top right now. So he is in a, a tough position, but he's making the best of it right now, going positive as he takes his 16th kill in mid, trading on to Lecro. European football has a... Yeah, it can't buy nothing. Hey, you know, if you want to play in rank S, if you want to be the very best trace, uh, a little birdie just told me that, uh, okay. you know, ESEA, free to play during the Pro League. If you haven't done your placements, go do them now. Go play for free on ESEA. It hasn't thrown it out just yet. There's the wall now for NIP. They use this against Astralis uh, in the opening day of this group. And Apex is going to be waiting. Shots flash through. Looks to force fights. And with the advantage, he can line up too. Great work. Nork's stuck in the site, and the Molotov has to fall on back. He's being spammed through the wall, and Apex will take him down. It's a free orb if they can get there in time. You can do a hell of a lot from it. Ooh. Aggression down towards B ram. That's now an AK retreat. Vitality, three players. Look at this. The boys are back in town. In through middle. They almost get caught there by Twist back in CT. They mitigated the danger. They get into elevators. They're trying to lift this play up and over into the A bomb site. zaiwu has been cut off. One arm to this flank that was meant to come in has been removed. And now, with the kills Ooh. not going their way back in the site, Zaiwu's position now becomes the only position by Vitality held in the entire map. He is very much alone. Cut off from his squad. This is it. 1v4. Now, we know he has the potential to do it. Does have an op. One Molotov, one smoke, two flashes. He has the bomb as well, but this P250, is it going to be enough for the first oh, kill? No. Man. And nothing to do once that wall of smokes was up, or at least that wall of smoke. Oh, Vitality. Does Apex get flashed through? That would be a big call for Vitality to make. A huge risk when they're already up a man, but not for long. Nork does take down shocks. Popsky is blind and in a Molotov. He's got to reposition. Zaiwu finding Nork on that A site. Mizuta's in mid lurk as well. It's a bail for Vitality. They're running right back towards a great call. NIP losing one man has completely shut this round down, and Plopsky is now all that stands between Vitality and the 13th round. Look like they are going to start <laughs> to surround him as I say yeah, that. Yeah, this is terrifying. Oh, yeah. Boy. Nice try from Plopsky. You know, it's D on T side could be nice as a confidence play, getting it, you know, the advantage, oh. taking a quick peek, but uh 
It's not it's not the best. Yeah, oh, so I would have just had the shot through the smoke that apparently Res oh. had absolutely no idea oh, no. this is an angle. Ah! How about the Kraken? I'm not talking ints. Uh, isn't that a massive squid? Massive something I never want to hang around. I love sort calamari. Of like the B site here. Yes, I do like calamari as well. And a little bit of flavoring on top of the B bomb site. Ooh. Simply twist and Mizuda Close. dancing toe and toe. A bit of a square dance even around those generators. Knock though, the last one left alive here with the AWP. Bomb has been planted. He has no kit. Zai, we won 6 HP, AWP as well. Nate in hand. Knock's going to walk in and just get absolutely blindsided by Mizuda. Inching them towards picking what? up this first map. Lecro, on the other hand, has different ideas. He takes out shocks. Quite a shot. I'm sure we'll see it a little bit later in a replay, hopefully. What, what did the, uh, he wallbanged them through the box, I guess. That's the only thing that can be wallbanged down there. So shocks removed. Apex now trying to step into the driver's seat. And oh, my word. Oh, my word. They go by no who tries to play the trigger discipline, but Zaiwu goes Apex. I don't really believe you when you've told me this is clear. I don't really know if you checked that position. And he didn't. So we'll get rewarded for it. Plopsky waiting in this smoke, but Apex oh he's got an inkling, doesn't he? Hello. Oh Hello. dear. Apex's brain swelling on up. Vitality 15 to 13. It's map point for the Frenchman in spite of a 5-10 half. Crucial round for the ninjas. What can they do? This orb is flashed out. Nork looking for a kill. You've got to be very careful in this angle. You can easily fall off the map, there but he will not. He will take Apex instead. He'll be immediately crossing his plane. Zai <laughs> almost takes down Twisters <laughs> on the jump spot. Grenade comes through, lands big on Mazuda and RPK. And That's I, not going to help the war. Ever. NIP's nades are, are, are phenomenal. And, and it's kind of concerning that in spite of all of that, this is still coming up in favor of Vitality. What? Zai Wu there, right. besting Nork. Nork a little slow to fire the shot off. As at least. Keeps this wow. in the advantage of NIP. Does get tagged on the retreat. Shocks is up through ramp, trying to clear this bomb site. It's Lecro over at short, who is hoping to have a bit of a say in whether or not that bomb goes down, but he gets nothing. Three versus three to decide whether or not Vitality take NIP's map pick here and now. Plopski has put the advantage back in favor of the Swedes. They know he's at ramp, so how do they adjust to this? They're going to group up over at short side. Zaiwu and Shox trying to play this one together. Now, NIP, they know where these players are. The Flash has just come in. They have cleared everywhere else on the map. They tap the bomb. That pressures Zaiwu. And Plopski delivers there in the clutch. Three kills from him. And a defuse found that they almost missed because he went to go get the Krieg. RPK or someone come off the ramp and put Zaiwu up in that position so we can see this boost work, but it doesn't come in because Zaiwu's just beating them to the kill anyway. Peeking out on his own. Nork now. Orp out. Tiny little gap to try and aim through. Not quite able to find anything. NIP. They're, they're attempting to do everything they can to stop this bomb going down with a man advantage, but uh -oh. here's Masuka on this wrap. He does get dealt with by Rez. An important kill found from a man who's been struggling for Nip. Keeps them in this three on four and denies Masuta a huge play oh. through the elevators. Big smoke on the bomb there. So he gets mollied out down to 40 and almost perishes, but he saved his life. He's backed up for the post part, and this is where things should be impossible, even with NIP's powerful smokes. Great position for shocks. Um, it will surely go and check through all this madness going on right now. Rez is going to look close. He won't look at this position though, and shocks gets a kill for it. Ducks around the corner. Nork finds a frag, but Rez has got to stick the bomb. They're coming there at him, is. and Vitality will take it. 16 to 14, Zai Wu, three kills to close it out. He is the hero of that round, denying overtime for the Swede. They want to get off to a good start here on Vitality's map pick, and the pistol round would be phenomenal. Fast smokes in towards main. That's going to be the fast vent drop here for Vitality. They set that up like it was almost going to be an A play for a moment, but they duck down and into the B site they go. They find their forces oh. divided, and the bomb is now alone at B. Masuta still putting in the numbers, but this is going to leave the pressure on RPK and Shocks as they find themselves a lot. Long way from the bomb site. Masuta's got to try by time. 
for these players that are locked out of this round to do damage and find impact. Shox goes down. RPK on this rotation. Masuta trying to hold the line and hold it down. He shall. But it's time for RPK. And now it's only Lecro. 1v1. Oh. And RPK has been so good in these pistol rounds. That continues. Vitality get it locked in. We have an AK with four SMGs. Fast ramp play for Vitality. Shocks is straight out into position. There's only uh -oh. one man here from NIP. Pops successfully tucked in the corner. He gets one. Traded swiftly. Vitality. They're just going to commit towards lower. And the rotations are not here in time. Nork is dead. Lecro has found himself down on B. But it will only get away with a kill. From Earth here on the side of ramp. They're going to find their way all the way down. Twist with the tag. And ultimately the grenade will not ring out. Especially given the fact that he's out of the round now. RPK does take him out. So 2v2. Very low, though. Vitality are going to have to defend this bomb to the death, it looks like. Rez closest to it. Neither NIT players have a kit. Lecker's going to push the ramp. He has nice. a hit. There's another one there. And the round does come to a close. Vitality, they don't have the utility to cross towards B. They don't have that double smoke setup. They can throw one and try and wing it, try and cross. But kills will certainly help them out. Masuta finds the first frag of the round. Let Crow get through the smoke, gets a trade, but dinked up in the process, down low, entries out ramp, Vitality, they're all over the place, they are pushing the extremities, and they are finding a great map control, down towards B, Shox sets up, Nork holding the line, and this is a dangerous fight for Shox, but it has bought time for RPK to get close, gets away with that kill, Vitality can drop into lower now, where Let Crow waits. And they're able to grab the oh. AK, didn't want to go for the op, rightfully so, Rez was sitting up top, Heaven looking right down on it, yeah, certainly not, right? They've posted up the heavy armor now. Oh, boy. I woo. Sorry. Oof. That's a little bit gross. And they cut the op out of it, too. He drops the AK, goes for the op, and on that note, it's going to be Vitality trying oh, to make it lower. That creates a big problem. Bad. The bomb is down in ramp room. Mizuta dropping it on his way out. And with 13 seconds left in the round, Rez left alone in ramp. He's got to hold tight. And somehow Vitality managed to win that one back with just nine seconds left on the clock. Nice. Lecro, he's in a little one way there in the top left of that smoke. Twist now on the scene. That's but only a briefly. RPK runs away and he makes a jump and then he 180s because he knows that noise is going to make a player peak vent. So a little detail there. Nice cheesy kill. That's where the devils are. Zaiwu with an AWP over to Lecro. Still four weapons alive for Vitality in this round. Also, look at Shogs. In a completely different side of the map. He's wrapping all oh, the way man. through ramp room just to really solidify this round for Team Vitality. Nork's kind of best heroics here probably shouldn't be enough for Nip to get this round. And that's because of this position, because of this lurk from Shogs. I don't know, the collection? You got, you got a collection of sculpts, Harry? You know, scalps. 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 Yeah, scalps. scalps. You gotta, scalps. you gotta, you gotta ah. collect those scalps, you know. Yeah. And Nork wants those scalps. 1v2. Uh, uh, right. right. Bit of a vintage French strat there. Taking a page <laughs> out of the G2 book. Hello. Last round, they were too slow. This round, will they be too fast? Nork is on the angle and Ooh. he is blind as a bat. Shock shuts him down. Yeah, Nork, he wasn't ready for Shocks to be so deep. Great play from Shocks, great pace. We saw him on the MAC-10 round run down towards B in a similar fashion. And, oh boy, he's not done, is he? Second kill of the round. Plopski's dead and lower. He's going to be a third here with Twist walking into hell, not ready for RPK pushed up. Vitality, they're so quick at getting in these positions. And NIP are getting caught off by the pace. Now it's come to a slowdown. Five on two. Make NIP sweat. Make them work for their frags. Rez is going to have to do so, but RPK shot him from below. And it's Lecro on that top site. Not for long. Vitality are surrounding him. Does it? Nope. Yep. They didn't know he was there. So we're holding mini. is going to be a rat from the back. Twist. Oh, he's ready for it. He gets oh, wow. two Rez following up. Twist is down low. And somehow, some way, somewhere, this is a five on one. Zaiwu is going to get the trade. He's got the bomb to drop down towards B. Nork is already here, though. Orp v Orp. Pistol out for Zaiwu. He's wrapping back round the side. And Nork is going to hit the shot, luckily enough. It's a round for NIP. And they think the fast A play might give them the answer. The nades from NIP have been so damn good, though, in this series. That's something to take into account. Rez is even better. Gets three from up on top of the rafters. He is red. <laughs>
Wow, yeah, there's a lot of actually a lot of resemblance there that I never actually considered up until this Momo. Lecro. <laughs> Ooh. Not gone well. Last run of the half, Apex finds Lecro. Man deficit by two there for Ninjas. Nox going to even it up a little bit still. Can't take too long, though. 25 seconds. Yeah, they actually have to pick up the pace in a pretty big way here. Team Vitality. Time could be the problem again. That bomb is over in Decon, oh, no. and it's going to try and get out into the open. 10 seconds. Tick tock. You got to go. You got to go now. And they uh, do manage to get into the bomb site. They managed to get that bomb planted. Plopski. Not able to deny that there from the cubby. Oh, Rez has come in with the kill onto RPK. Mollied out into the open was Plopski, but he still gets one before he oh. is dealt with. Zaiwu knows he's out in the Woo! open and is able to take him down there in the 1v1. Um, we're going to see if these can get anything done. Vitality, they're not stacked outside, but they're very close to being so. They have lots of players in mini, and they could go wide to try and assist this outside control. This is the perfect counter to the play, but the B250s are so good. One of them now gone, and NIP are going to take the ramp while all this is going on. Great reaction from Vitality, though. Neutralizing yeah. the weapon. They've been doing a lot of this, right? Where they where they kind of like they'll, they'll see where two players are, and instead of trying to draw those fights out and plan ahead, they just take the fights while they got them. And it's working here. It's oh, working dear. well. Twist and Nork have tried to do enough, but is it going to be enough? Nork now alone. One versus three, and a man of ramp has him pinned. He is stuck between a rock and more rocks as Vitality <laughs> lock in that ninth round. Multiple rocks, all the rocks, and actually, what was a Rather avalanched round here. Vitality trying to flood down there in the retake. Almost cost. Slightly larger avenue gives you the potential to try and get into garage oh, here. Nice. The problem is, Zaiwu, a bit of a mechanic. Ma maniac, sorry. <laughs> I've read that wrong. Uh, he shut this down. He finds them both. Excuse me. Twist, Plopski, and Lecro. Swing, Ooh. Twist had the drop. Certainly Zaiwu with the answer, though. Yeah, dry, a school driving himself into opposition to the site. Gets a kill. RPK, that's a massive one. Plopski is alone now in the site. He will get this frag. RPK is low. Swinging the doors right shut and back open. Shocks gets baited. And that's a great clutch from Plopski. Here yeah. <laughs> but almost, <laughs> Harry, as you say in the industry, doesn't quite cut it. It's excited. It's excited that it might get a kill. The Chug's talking to him. They're nearby Apex. Come on. Ooh, oh, no. Here they are. Oh, oh, Chugs them down, double up, and that's the shotgun showing why it's so good in these close ranges. Goodbye. Tomorrow. Well, I'm not here to hype up half life. I want to talk about Counter-Strike. Ooh, the fast door rush. NIP nearing the half-life of, half of Nuke. Apex cutting lives in half up on top of the heart. North looking for the Deagle, and he will get rid. Oh, nearly get rid of Shock. Shock's actually doubling down, and Team Vitality, it's match and series point here. One round leads to another, which leads to another. But as it stands, Vitality are just walking away with it. Wow. When you have a buy, you're up against map and match point. You know, you're buying until the game's over. And the game might be over with pushes like this. Masuta, covered by Zaiwu, gets traded. Zaiwu missing a shot. This is so low, the Molotov will cut him off. And he's going oh, back oh, for oh. more. That will get punished, luckily so. But RPK will go in for another, leaving just the low HP res. And they're just here to close it. Team Vitality trying to force fights. Will come to regret that fight. But Red's given an option to go down lower, a chance in the one-on-one -on -one versus Apex. Now with the bomb not going down on B, Apex is like, yeah, he's doing something there. He's doing something gross. Ooh. And there's Rez doing exactly that. The dirty done to Apex. The ninth round for NIP. You cannot start to get ahead of yourself here if you're Vitality NIP. Now towards Ramp. Masuta opening this round up with a man advantage. This is great. It's also a bait and switch, right? If you kill Masuta here, you are not expecting shocks, literally giving him a back rub in the corner. Masuta, any damage he can get is so valuable, and one is enough. Yep. Shocks now. GG. There we go. This is it. This is this is the bait and switch that should oh, solidify this. He delays it for as long as he can, and Twist now alone. This should be the mop-up, and there it is. Ooh. Team Vitality. They'll take this one in a 2-0 fashion. They get it done quickly.